Is that correct grammar? Hi, my name is Jess and my bank account is kind of empty. Hi everyone, my name is Jess and today I'm going to be doing a collective winter haul. Basically everything in this video was from Black Friday, Cyber Monday. I didn't go in store because I don't like long lines. So I ordered everything online, that's why it took a little bit of time to come. So everything was, almost everything was on sale. So that's why I got a lot of stuff. And so the first place that I went to was Fashion Nova. And I got two things from there. The first thing that I got is this uh, creamy turtleneck sweater. And I didn't have just like a simple basic white sweater in my closet. So I wanted that just so that I can be able to pair it with a lot of different jackets and bottoms for the winter. I picked up this one, but I don't know if I really like it because the material is really fuzzy so I feel like if I wore black with it it would get all over my clothes and I'd have to carry around a lint roller or something but uh, I'm still gonna wear it the material is thick but it has a lot of holes in it so it's kind of see-through so I'm gonna have to wear like you know just a shirt underneath it or something like that the next thing that I got are these thigh-high boots and um, I've been wanting one for a really long time but I just thought that I didn't need them because I had nowhere to wear them to. But it was on sale so I figured I'd just pick it up and save it. And plus New Year's is coming up so maybe I'll have some place to wear it to. These have a, kind of a higher heel so it is for a, dress, a, fancier, a fancier event. So I'll just have to find a fancy event to go to to wear those. And that is everything that I got from Fashion Nova. The next place that I went to is Hollister. I just picked up a pair of uh, mom jeans. These are the Ultra High Rise Classic Stretch and I got it in a size 27. I recently started wearing mom jeans so I wanted a black pair but originally I wanted something a little bit more faded and distressed but I think for a pair that this was $15, I think I, it would just fade over time and then I could just always stress it myself. So if that can become just like a little DIY project that I can do on my own, which can be kind of fun. So uh, the next place that I went to was Zara and I actually went in store for this. So I got this uh, caramel color trench coat from Zara and I thought that a trench coat is a really good statement piece for the winter because um, it can dress up a lot of simple outfits and make you look like you put in a lot more effort than you actually did for an outfit. Hello, and darkness, trench coats are usually a bit on the pricier side and I did want one with a, a good quality that would last a while and that would keep me warm. So this was $120 and I got it in a X small. Um, because I wanted it to be a little bit more fitted than oversized and that is what I got from Zara. The next place that I went to was PacSun and I unintentionally got everything yellow at PacSun. So the first yellow thing that I got was this fuzzy yellow sweater. So I thought that this would be good just to like brighten up my closet during the winter because I tend to wear a lot of black and white and um, just neutral colors so I thought this would bring a lot of color to my outfits. The sweater is not uh, super thick so I think it's really good for layering. I got this in a size large just because I wanted it to be a little oversized. The next item that I got is probably my favorite thing out of everything that I have today and it's just this cute crop top with a uh, yellow accent flowers on it. It's just cinched down in the middle. And I really like the ruffles on the sleeve because I do have a broader shoulder so I think it hides um, my shoulders well. It makes it look uh, like my arms are slimmer than they actually are. The last thing that I got from PacSun is this yellow puffer jacket. And I got it in a size X small, but it's still really, really big on me for some reason. I saw a lot of um, people on Instagram wearing it, so I thought it was really cute, but it looks like I'm wearing a pillow. I still really like it because it does keep me warm, and I, if when I put it like one shoulder off, it's kind of cute. 
but at the same time I feel like whenever I wear it I should be holding a red balloon. Every time I put this on I feel like <laughs> where's my red balloon? And that is everything that I got from PacSun. The last place that I ordered from was Nasty Gal. So I had been eyeing this website for a while but their items are a little bit pricier so I was kind of hesitant but for Black Friday they had an amazing like 60 to 80% off sale so I grabbed too much stuff from there. The first thing that I got is this teddy bear jacket and I know that this coat was trending a while back but I never got it because I just didn't like it back then i didn't think it looked good on me i think a lot of people have the oversized one mm -hmm. but this one is cropped and it has this ribbed faux leather detail at the rim of the jacket as well as the sleeves so i thought that was cool and it has pockets and i love pockets it doesn't have a hood though but that's okay i don't really wear hoods the next thing that I got from there are these uh, mom jeans and I have a pair of distressed mom jeans but I wanted a pair of non-ripped just plain mom jeans. My mom says mom jeans are ugly but they're comfy and I like them so I'm going to keep wearing them. The next item that I got is just this oversized t-shirt in a beige color and it says American Motorcycles on it and it just has a motorcycle and some stars and some more text down here. The material is pretty good for a t-shirt. It's not too thick, it's not too thin and I also like that it has kind of like a vintage look to it. It looks like a pistachio macaroon to me. Macaroon, macaron, macaron. I don't know what it's called. It's not actually vintage. People who actually thrift shop are gonna hate me. The next thing I got from Nascale are these faux leather boots and it has a square toe, which is cool because I don't have anything like that. And I, it's, it's so pretty and shiny and I love it. But it's really hard to walk in because it restrains your ankle. And then I got another pair of boots basically the same thing but in white but these are matte and the toes are pointed and the heel is not like it's just a straight block instead of like uh, the angle I don't know what that's called but I have my black and white boots and I'm really happy the last thing that I got are these just regular just sandal heel because I have one in brown, but I didn't have one in black, and, and I figured that I'd need them for some occasion that has yet to be determined. So I got these. They're a uh, suede material, and I they do have cushion at the bottom, so it should be pretty pretty comfortable. I got these in a size seven, I believe. I, I got all the shoes in a size seven because I'm a six and a half and they didn't have six and a half so I figured I could just wear socks with it well I can't wear it with these but they fit and that is everything that I got from Black Friday and Cyber Monday I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing everything that I got with my college savings and thank you for watching see you next time Bye, boing.